Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Professor Bert, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the engineering change proposal, or what I call an ECP. What is an engineering change proposal? An engineering change proposal is a management tool used to propose a configuration change to a configuration item and its government baseline performance requirements and configuration documentation during an acquisition program. How is an engineering change proposal initiated? The initiation of an ECP begins at the government's request unless it's an unsolicited ECP from a contractor. Since most ECPs occur in a sole source environment, the initiation of an ECP should be a well-planned and coordinated effort between the government and the contractor. A clear mutual understanding of the ECP objective, technical scope, and the government's performance, cost, and schedule constraints helps preparation. A clear understanding also results in a complete and comprehensive proposal to facilitate timely and effective implementation. What are the engineering change proposal classifications? There are two types of ECP classifications. Class 1 Criteria, an ECP proposing a change to approved configuration documentation for which the government is the configuration documentation configuration authority or that has been included in the contractor's statement of work by the tasking activity and the following three areas. 1. Affects any physical or functional requirement in the configuration documentation. 2. Affects any cost, warranties or contract milestones. And 3. Affects any approved product configuration documentation. And finally, Class 2 criteria, which is anything that is not a Class 1. How is an engineering change proposal prepared and submitted? Formal and preliminary ECPs are prepared and submitted to the government. They are submitted in accordance with the configuration management requirements of the applicable contract statement of work and associated contract data requirements list. The contract data requirements list should provide information on the submittal and distribution of engineering change proposals for government review and processing. How are engineering change proposals reviewed and dispositioned? In order to facilitate dispositioning ECPs affecting documents for which the government is configuration documentation configuration authority, contracts should identify the government representatives responsible for dispositioning both Class 1 and Class 2 ECPs. Class 1 ECPs must be disposition, approved or disapproved, for implementation by a properly constituted government configuration control board. After the configuration board direction is issued, it is important to proceed expeditiously with the definitization process, obtaining a pricing proposal, auditing, fact-finding, and negotiating the final price for the change. Until the contract modification is received and bilaterally agreed to by the government and the contractor, the contractor is not authorized to proceed with the implementation of the proposed change. What to do with approved engineering changes? The incorporation of approved changes should be planned so that optimum acquisition, production, tests, evaluation, and operational advantages can be derived from the modified configuration. The change is effectively coordinated to ensure that the earliest possible availability and support of the configuration item is provided. Changes shall be incorporated only after the contract modification or program contracting officer letter or implementing directive is published. Unofficial technical documents shall not be used as authority to incorporate changes. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the engineering change proposal. For more information please visit the webpage. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.